Welcome back guys to another video as I'm loading into a new world to shred by alt so I can get these cannonballs in order to do 1000 kills at the giant mole. So with that guys, I'm just going to trade over these cannonballs really quick and then I'm going to go start this video with the giant mole and I'll tell you about some information pertaining to it. So let's get into it. So for some background information for those that don't know, the Giant Mole is a boss that is found in the Falador Mole Lair just underneath Falador Park. The Giant Mole is killed by players who are trying to get the Mole Claw and Mole Skin in order to trade them in to a specific NPC in Falador Park in order to obtain Bird's Nest. This is an excellent method for players looking to get some Cerebrews. You know, obviously people like Iron Man, they need some Cerebrews for their PVM experiences, so they need that in order to keep themselves alive. As well as, of course, uh, the mole has other drops, such as uh, weaponry and armor, but nothing is really too shabby there. Runes and ammunition, and really the only other items that people would want to collect are the U-Logs, which is 100 of them noted for about 26,000 GP at the time of this recording, and the Rune Med Helm, which is kind of rare, 1 out of 128, but... It's 11k, so it's worth something. But, guys, the most important part and the reason why we're going for a thousand kills, not only do I need Sarah Bruce, and, you know, I like to iron in my own stuff now, but the baby mole, a 1 out of 3,000 chance, little hardcore Iron Man killer. Oh, having one for myself, I would love it. 1 out of 3,000 drop rate, guys. Going for a thousand kills. Maybe we can get it. If not, that is the goal for this video, guys. Minimum a thousand kills. Trying to get that baby mole as well as just, you know, getting some cerebrus because, you know, I'm a boy. My boy's got to drink up. So let's get right into it, guys, with the gear setup. All right, guys, for our gear setup for the mole, we're going with the most kills per hour, which is the Twisted Bow with full range offensive, which I believe is around 70 kills an hour. It's pretty ridiculous with the cannon. Obviously, you know, got those cannonballs, so we're going to use cannon down there. So for our gear setup, once again, Twisted Bow, full armor. Necklace of Anguish, a Assembler Max Cape, which is no different from the Assembler piece from Vorkath, Dragon Arrows, Archer's Ring Imbued, Pegasians, and Barrow's Gloves. So this is the gear setup, and for the inventory, we're going with four ranging pots. We should be using Divine, but eh, I'll buy them later on. Four Staminas. I should be using Restores, but I'll go with Prayer Potions, because I just want to save a little bit of money. Once again, we're going with the Cannon Cannonballs spade to go down there the folly shield four because it tracks the mole in the max cape so i can go to and from really quickly and with that guys let's go and start this adventure actually before we start our you know mole killing we need to make the fire of eternal light down here so this is an inextinguishable light source so i don't have to bring a fire making cape or a bullseye lantern down here basically this is one of the rewards from completing making friends with my arm so we use mahogany planks, steel bars, F salts, T salts, and earth salts on this in order to make the fire of eternal light. So whenever I'm down here, I don't actually have to have a light source and it'll be fully lit and I'll be A-OK -okay, and I'll be safe and good to go. After hopping around pretty quickly, I found an open world. So I'm gonna put my cannon on that tile that I marked that blue one. And I'm also going to eventually kill the giant mole in this blue tile that I'm gonna stand in. So when I have the mole respawn after the initial kill, I'll be in that safe spot right over there. And then I'll kill mole and uh, yeah, my cannon will do damage and we're here to uh, make some gains. And right now I'm gonna, you know, just quickly DPS it, but let's see what our starting KC amount is. It is, okay, all right, Relay's not working, but I'm pretty sure we're starting at 540, so gonna try to lure the giant mole into here and yeah, okay all right you're gonna you're gonna dig all right first kill first kill in you know rigor you know get that kill let's go come on there we go first kill what do we have here we have five yep we're starting kc of 540 that is what our starting kc is guys so at 1540 i'll uh have a thousand kills done and let's see is the uh, is Cannon gonna hit him right here? Yeah, there it is. There you go. This is how we do it, guys. Really simple. A lot of kills per hour, and he might actually just be dead right here. 
Yeah, look at that. Easy peasy, team. Easy peasy. This is going to be such a free pet. You hate to see it, but uh, shield left half from the mole. I don't want to know how rare that is, but it's probably really rare. And my guess is probably one out of 5,000 or probably much more rare. So we're about an hour in into the kill. We're actually like an hour and two minutes in, but I have <laughs> I've killed the mole for 73 times. Dude, this method is just insane. It, I never realized how quickly it is. 250 kills in and we got a long bone on our last kill. So uh, that means that we have officially gotten a rare drop, but not a good one. Well, guys, if we scroll up in the chat at 1590 for KC, a giant mole, another shield left half. The second one of this in about a thousand kills or so. <laughs> you, ha you hate to see the day with getting a curved bone and oh man, one out of 5,000 and <laughs> I haven't seen one in a long while and <laughs> oh man. I don't think we're getting this pet anytime soon, but we will see. We will see. Well, guys, we are back with another long bone kill at 1933. You know, didn't expect to see another one, but, you know, statistically, we are almost at 1,200 kills, so we are pretty much at the drop rate. Now, the curve bone, though, I don't expect a curve bone. If we get a curve bone, then uh, this is all rigged. <laughs> I deserve the pet, don't I? I'm self-righteous. I absolutely deserve this pet. Alright guys, we're coming in on 1500 kills at the giant mole, and I believe this is where I'll be stopping for this video. I originally wanted to do a thousand. I got over a thousand, and now I'm approaching the uh, 2100 mark for my KC, because I did do 500 kills before this video. So, with the 1500 kill count guys, after this kill, I'm pretty sure he's going to die right here. Okay, maybe one more shot. So after this kill shot right here, we're going to go back to uh, the bank. And then I'll show you guys how much money I've made from everything that I've collected. But uh, I will also show what Runelight has tracked through my kill logs. So you guys will see screenshots of that to see what the actual money, as if I were to pick up everything, would be. But we're only going to do a price check in the bank of what I actually have. Uh, in the bank of what I've collected. So let's go and do that. All right, guys, this is the loot as if I were to collect everything from the giant mole. I'm just going through the Runelight screenshots of all the trips that I've done. And this would be as if, if I were to once again collect everything and store it in the bank and see how much value that I would obtain if I collected every single item. I'm not doing that, as I said before. I'm just going to be showing you guys the loot of which the items that I collected. And from this, I will go into how much money we made. And then uh, from there, that will be the end of the video. So you guys can get a general idea as to how much money that I've made from killing 1,500 giant moles. So after this last screenshot, let's get right into it. How much money we made from the giant mole of all the items we collected? 33.3 million GP from about 1500 kills at the giant mole. 19 mil in mole skins of 3000 worth. 1500 mole claws for 10 million. Almost 4 million, or sorry, 3 million GP for U logs of almost 12,000. 72,000 iron arrows and some other items that are in here. So overall, guys, 33.3 .3 million GP made. That's going to be a lot of Cerebdome brews for me to Ironman and make myself. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. My name's Shanka Muffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.